Hey babe, hey. I just really wanted to come on here because I obviously have not made a YouTube video in quite some time. Um, I have, I just kind of want to get on here and kind of explain to y'all just like quickly what's been going on and all that stuff. Also, I am getting ready right now. I'm actually in a rush. I don't know why I decided to do this now, but anyways, I am getting ready to go shopping for my birthday outfit and for tomorrow. So my birthday is literally in a week. It's on the 23rd and it's next Friday. And I cannot believe it. Like actually this birthday, I'm always very excited about my birthdays. I'm just gonna start getting ready because you know, I talk a lot. Um, this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Dew Drops and I have been using this for uh, as primer. So I should really put my hair up too. So this is the first year where I'm not really excited. You know, it's finally hitting me that, you know, I'm getting old as fuck. And I'm always excited about my birthdays, but this year was very different. I didn't start getting excited until this week. So that has a lot to say. Usually it's like months in advance. Um, and then also I haven't worn makeup either. And then I put makeup the other day and it just broke me out. I don't know what it was. But um, I did everything the same, so I don't know, I'm confused. I kind of wanted to just catch y'all up and tell y'all what's been going on. If y'all hear my baby, my three-year-old, he's in the shower, he's showering. Well, he's already showered, but he didn't want to come out. He loves playing with the water. So I just let him play, don't worry. It's not, he's not like in a bath. It's like a shower, so there's no water in there. Um, he's just playing with the water and his toys, but anyway so i might have to take like a little break because i need to get him ready that's like his clothes right there um we're gonna go to the galleria my hubby wants to take me there because he says he'll have more options or whatever so yeah um pretty much i'm just gonna explain to y'all what has been happening oh before i do that i need to go wet my sponge really fast and i should probably go get a new one whatever we're gonna do this today and then i'll switch so, um, I can't believe it's already September. It's going by super fast and it's still freaking hot outside. So, there's that much. I had put, if you didn't know, I had put my son in pre-K three and it was just, I just knew he wasn't ready, but I was just like, you know what? Let's just give it a try. Like maybe I'm just, you know, being delusional or something. Maybe he is ready and I just don't want him to go because he's my baby or whatever, right? But it, I was actually excited and happy for him to go. So I don't know. Anyways, sure enough, he was not ready. Like it was, it was bad. Like he was just not, not ready. Like he would cry every single day. He went for a month straight. That whole month he was crying and just like, not having it so when i went to go take him out of school because i was like i don't think he's gonna be able to do this you know the school was pretty much on my page like we were on the same page you know they were telling me that you know they didn't think he was ready for school they didn't think that he was mature enough to go which i agree i was like well yeah he's not like he's not ready for school he was having a lot of separation anxiety with me because he's never been watched by anybody else you know he just went into the school like I feel like we just threw him in cold turkey, you know? He didn't even go meet the teachers. He didn't go meet, he was a late enrollment. So he didn't go meet the teachers. He didn't get to do all of that stuff. And then he's also never been away from me. So I feel like, you know, we just threw him in expecting him to do good. And then with a bunch of strangers at that. So yeah, it was bad. Like he just kept doing a lot of stuff, like throwing himself back, you know, trying to, trying to cause, trying to catch attention and just like, you know, it was just bad. It was just bad. So anyways, um, yeah, so we've been going through that all month and then we've been going through some stuff with my husband's shop. So that's just been like, it's been a month full of roller coaster and like emotions and stuff. So I was just not mentally there, if that makes sense. Like I was just, mentally fucked let's just say that um i wasn't in the right headspace so i was like yeah there's no way i can you know 
film anything like I just I did not feel good and I tried filming like twice already and it, it did not go good because I was just not mentally there and you could see that I was just like fucking like sad as hell I wasn't really depressed but I was just fucking sad and overwhelmed so when I took him out of school it was like a weight lifted off of our shoulders it was like I don't know how to explain it like it was amazing like once we told him like you're not gonna go to school like to this school anymore because we are thinking about putting him in a daycare like in january and we're gonna let him kind of cool down from all the stress that he went through and uh we're gonna put him in a daycare like in january and then once he's like we're just gonna put him there like twice a week and like two, da two days a week Oh yeah, we're gonna slowly start getting him to just be apart from me and slowly but surely and then we will see how that goes and then we will try again for pre-k four. So pre-k is not really necessary for the kids to go. They don't need to go to pre-k. Um, sorry if the light changes. I'm working with like natural lighting. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, the kids don't need to go to pre-k but you know, I just think it's important for them to start getting ready for like actual school. And even though it was an actual school, they were telling me like, if he doesn't go to school, like, you know, you will have court orders or like whatever. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like they're fucking three year olds, you know? So anyways, it was just becoming very stressful. So I am glad we made that decision to get him out. And the school also telling me to get him out helped a lot. So then today I am, oh, and also I have been going to my parents house a lot you know just for that emotional support and just things like events that were happening i like my parents and stuff like that so so i got to see my parents a lot and they're also going to come tomorrow so my dad <laughs> he's going to a church thing i forgot what they're called but they're going to go to the dominican republic on my actual birthday they're leaving september 23rd and my dad never forgets my birthdays okay like he never forgets my birthday but you can tell he was so excited to go to the dominican republic he was like oh my god diana like we're going to the dominican republic in september and i was like oh my god that's great dad like hope you have fun like what day in september and i thought it was gonna be like the first week of september this dude said 23rd I said, Daddy, that's my birthday. But honestly, I really didn't care. Like, I was like, yes, go. Like, I don't really don't care, honestly. Like, I just want you to go have fun. And he was like, his face kind of like, oh, shit, you know? And I was like, Papi, it's okay. Like, go ahead, go. And he was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I was so excited. I was like, that's fine. Like, go. So I told him that he needs to celebrate my birthday either before he leaves or like after he comes back. And he told me he has this Saturday off because usually he works like almost every Saturday. So he told me he has tomorrow off. And I was like, yes. But then my little brother is going to have a parade Saturday in the morning. And I'm just like, okay, well, y'all can come after the parade. And they do live, like, two hours away from me. So, oh, I'm using the e.l.f. putty bronzer. And it's, like, not that dark. But it's all right. Because I put on the powder bronzer. So, it's, like, it just works out. But anyway, so I was like, you know what? You come tomorrow with mom and my brother, Abel. And I'm like, y'all can come. And we just go to the aquarium because my son has been wanting to go to the aquarium and I'm like, that's, that'll be like a little fun family thing to do. So we're gonna go to the aquarium and then we're gonna go to eat Puerto Rican food. So I need outfits for that. I need outfit for the aquarium, something casual but cute. And then something for like my actual birthday next week. We're gonna go have my birthday. I already have reservations to this really cute girly place it's called xoxo dining room if you know what i mean like comment down below it's like super pretty i've never been and it looks super pretty really bougie so we're gonna go and they have like a dining room experience and they have like a garden like dining and we really wanted to do the garden because it just looks more open and you know we're gonna have like eight of us there so you know we're gonna need the space or whatnot so I just thought it was it was better. I'm gonna use the air spun. Haven't used this in a while. 
and I just got this to just kind of like reminisce because I'm like, oh my God, let me see if it's really good or were we just hyping it up and it's really good. I really try not to bake, if that makes sense. I don't really like, like baking. I just wanna like set everything. So, but yeah, I am super excited for my birthday now. We're just gonna have dinner with my mom, my best friend, um, her boo, my cousins. You know my hubby my son we're all just gonna go and that's gonna be like on my actual birthday which is gonna make it more special and then for the weekend like it's gonna be that friday and then saturday and sunday it's just gonna be my hubby and my son and we're just gonna be spending the whole weekend and i don't know what my hubby has planned because you know i had told him that i wasn't really excited for my birthday so he planned something so i'm like wait my hubby really doesn't ever plan anything so but I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup. And guys so i have been wanting to come and like talk but like my neighbors like from this wall so like the ones from behind us are having like a major argument like i can hear them so i didn't want to come on here and just like you know y'all be hearing that stuff and that's why I haven't taken my kid out of there because I don't want him hearing anything either, so. So I think I'm done. I think I want to keep my lips matte. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. This actually has been really, really good. And it actually smells like coconut. Like not artificial coconut, like actual coconut, so. And I drench myself in this. It's long lasting and it really is long lasting. Like it will literally last all day. Okay, so now I'm gonna go straighten my hair. I have not put heat in my hair in so long. It's been crazy. I've been trying to let it grow out and it's been good. I washed my hair last night, but I really just wanna flat iron it just to see how it's gonna look. And then my hair can actually be um, straight for tomorrow when we go to the aquarium. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So I took my kid out of the shower and I got him ready. And then I proceeded to do my hair. And when I tell y'all, I have not seen my hair straight like this. It's actually pretty long. I didn't know it was this long. Um, I haven't seen my hair this straight in a while. Every time I use like heat on my hair, or I was, you know, planning on using heat. I always curled my hair or, you know, did loose curls so my hair would look bigger. But this is giving like 2017 me and it's so crazy to see me like this. I haven't actually done this in a while. So I think I did it once last year. I think I straightened my hair and that was like to go out uh, dancing with my bestie and obviously that didn't last long my hair was drenched in sweat so it is pretty hot today but I don't think it's gonna be like that sweaty hopefully it's not that humid but I don't know I, even if it gets ruined I don't care like I love this it's like super super nice so all right so now I need to find something to wear because I don't know what the hell I'm gonna wear um and I'm not kind of liking this matte lip, so I might, before leaving the house, I might just throw on some lip gloss because it feels too dry. I'm just gonna do it right now. F it. 
I don't know how I used to wear like matte lipsticks like all 2016, 2017. Oh yeah, that's much better. Mm, I feel movement. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. It was actually freaking hot while I was doing my hair. I forgot how hot it would get. I started sweating a little bit, so that kind of sucks, but I try. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start looking to see what I'm gonna wear. Hey guys, so it is actually the next day. I went shopping with my hubby and my son and we went to go see if we could find something to wear for my birthday. And I think I did. So we went to H&M, which is really where I wanted to go because I was like, I don't know, my style is just changing so much. And I was like, I'm gonna try H&M and see what they got. And I loved everything. Like I saw these pants as soon as I walked in and I was like, yes yes so i'm gonna show y'all i got a few things uh one of the things that i got i'm wearing and i actually got it in a different color shirt as well it's just like a little everyday casual shirt and that is something that i was looking for because i don't have pretty casual shirts like they're all ugly af so i was like you know what i need to get me like one or two casual shirts and we're going to the aquarium today with my mom my dad my brother my son and i and maybe my hubby he's at work right now so we don't know if he's gonna come or not um but i was like i need something that i can wear casual you know but also look good in so yeah so i got this it was very inexpensive and then i also got these little earrings they were like six dollars i have the tags here um i will show you everything Okay, so the shirt was $12.99 and I'm a medium and then the earrings that I'm wearing were $5.99 so six and then I also got these earrings I don't know I just thought they were cute and they were $8.99 and I was actually debating on both of these earrings and I just threw it in my bag in my little shopping bag and my hubby actually bought them so I was like I didn't know i was like i wasn't sure about those earrings but he already bought them so i was like okay i guess and they actually look really really pretty so um yeah so these are the pants that i fell in love with they are hound hound to i forgot the actual name of this print but this is how they look like and i honestly i am not a big fan of this print when it's like really really big i think i had like a skirt and i never wore it because it was just really really big and this one's really really small so it looks very very cute and it kind of like it's like wide leg at the bottom they just look super cute on and i think this is what i'm gonna wear for my birthday and then i found a shirt and these were um 17.99 and they say that they are 98 percent recycled polyester so nice and then for the shirt this was like the greatest shirt like this was 24.99 medium um but it's like a bodysuit and like just the style and the cut of it it just when i saw it there i was like oh my god like i instantly knew this was gonna look super good and it does like i tried it on i tried both of these things together so i think i'm gonna be wearing this for my birthday i didn't want to wear a dress this year i was like i wear a dress every year and this year i just want to go a little bit more sophisticated and more um you know elegance we are gonna have dinner at like xoxo dining room so it is a little bit more elegant and i really just wanted something more you know grown up y because i'm turning 26 i don't know i just really wanted something more you know put together like that and then i'm also just gonna wear my black pump heels like they're super cute and then this is the other shirt it costs the same 12.99 so 13 um and just another beige color because i really want to change my wardrobe in like neutral colors so like blacks you know creams nudes and just the one color light pink because i feel light pink looks really good with my skin tone so every time i wear light pink i get a lot of compliments so i'm like you know what i'm gonna throw light pink in there too but this is the same shirt in cream so it's very pretty 
and then the last thing that i got well my hubby got me is this perfume and i've never heard of this brand before but he just got it and he got himself one too i'm like whose birthday is it but no i don't care um yeah he got one for him and one for me and when i smelled this i was like oh my god like he knows me so well and he was like you don't have perfumes and it's so true i don't i just have body sprays so this smells like okay, my amor. this smells very rosy but yeah it's very cute and it comes in a very cute packaging so yeah, i love this packaging so yeah that is all uh, i got and I will show a little bit of footage of us in the aquarium. It's going to be so much fun. And then after, we're going to go eat dinner. This is going to be such a fun day. I'm super excited. I'm just waiting for my parents to get here and so we can go. Hey, guys. So it is Monday and I just got ready. It is like 1 o'clock. And I was like, you know what? I need to go do... No, it's actually 2 o'clock. I need to go do errands. I need to go grocery shopping really fast. And then I'm going to go get my nails done and my toes done. Um, they're bad. I have not done my nails. And actually, actually, I haven't done my nails in like over a year. And it's so crazy because I used to do my nails all the time. But they just got super weak. And right now they're disgusting. But, um... They got super weak and I was like, you know what, I need to start, you know, taking care of them and just let them heal or whatever because they were really thin and just really bad. So I started doing nail straighten strengthening and all of this other stuff and I was like, you know what, my birthday's coming. I'm just going to go ahead and do my nails. I'm going to do something super simple. I'm going to do like a pink French tip moment and I will show y'all whenever they're done, but I always think about the after my birthday because I never do like big old pretty nails because they're like so extra and I'm like yeah what about after my birthday they're gonna be looking kind of weird but anyways I am gonna go do that gonna go do my toes I usually just do french tip on my toes um, but I think this time I'm gonna ask for the pink french tip so they can match my nails um, and then, yeah, and then I was going to do my makeup right now, but I'm like, I don't have time because hubby gets here at four. It's two. I need to go to Walmart, do some groceries. And then by the time he gets back, so he can watch my, our son, I was going to say my son. <laughs> so he can watch our son and while I go do my nails and stuff. And I want to go early so I can get out early. So uh, I'm just going to do my eyebrows and then my lashes hopefully i can vlog in there a little bit i usually just like to chill and just like let them do their thing and i'm trying out like a new nail salon because like i am in a new area so i hope they do a good job probably not a good idea to get your birthday nails at a new place but i tried reaching out to like nail techs around me but they weren't answering my messages so i'm like i'm gonna go to like the best shop around here nail bar it's like a nail bar it's called texas nail bar and they have really good reviews like i think they have like over four thousand reviews and they have like a 4.6 or like a 4.7 something like that so i'm like yeah they have really good reviews so this should do a good job and it's something simple so it's not like they can't do it you know and then i'm just doing my brows like I'm just trying to fill in my brows a little bit just so that they don't look, just so I don't look dead as well. Oh, I'm so full. I ate some tuna and some crackers and some, like I put tuna and onions and jalapenos and this dipping um, crackers and they're, it's so good. I just ate and I'm so full. I had to brush my teeth again because I'm like, uh uh, I can't talk to people like that. I don't have time. And besides, I'm just going to go to the nail salon and then back home. So there's no point in doing my full face anyways. Okay. All right. I'm going to go get my son ready. And then I will see y'all. Hopefully, I can vlog at the nail salon. If not, I would just show you my nails and my toes. I can't show you my toes right now. They're really bad. Not going to lie. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I just came here to Texas Nail Bar. Can you see it? 
and I'm here in Mesquite. And at first I got this lady who was like doing my toes and she was doing a good job. But then she started doing like I asked I asked her to do like a French tip, like a pink French tip with like the outline pink. She's like, okay, whatever. She did them so crooked and so ugly, bro. I was like, bruh, I can't. So I went to go get my nails done, which look at these. They are a mate. Oh, they match my shirt. But they are am amazing. And I went to go get my nails done and the guy was like do you like your toes and I was like honestly no like I never say anything but I couldn't pass that up my birthday's this Friday like they can't be looking janky so I was like you know what I don't like my nails and then he was like oh well he's like let me fix them and I was like okay and so he's like okay he's like I'm so sorry let me fix them and I said okay thank you so he I was like you know what just do regular white French tip and he's like okay he did them so freaking good I was like oh, like they are so good like I'm gonna show you on my feet hold on so they're just like regular French tip but they're so good oh my god I'm showing my feet but yeah they're so good and I was like oh my god so he did the, my feet and I was like okay I'm gonna get my nails done so I got my nails done by him and oh my god it was kind of pricey it was like $85 and then my toes were like 30, I think. But it was worth it. It was well worth it. So yeah. Um, so I probably will not be able to will not be getting my toes and my nails done at the same time. It was fun. It was great. So I mean for my birthday, I think it's well deserved. And, and I think I'm gonna be ending the vlog here because I am gonna get my hair dyed black. I don't know if I'm going to vlog me actually dyeing my hair, but if I do not, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, it was a lot of fun to do and getting ready for my birthday. I still need to get my eyebrows done. I need to get like a facial and all of that, but I'm just gonna do a home, at home facial and I'm gonna do microdermabrasion. I might actually film that, I'm not sure, but if, I don't, I'm saying goodbye now. <laughs>